back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Idalis de Dios. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy my other videos. I am 24 years old. I have my own business. I have a t-shirt business. And for today's video, I'm pretty much going to be tying up loose ends because the year is coming to an end. So there's a lot of things that I want to do before the year begins, before the new year begins. One thing is inventory. I don't know why, but I can never get it together when it comes to inventory. I only have a low quantity of t-shirts because you know I don't sell by the masses. So I only have like small quantities. And so it's hard for me because I usually am low really fast and then I have to like restock. But when I'm buying, like when I'm in the process of buying t-shirts, I'm always like, oh, you know what? I don't know if I should buy that color because it doesn't really sell. And so then I don't buy it. And then that same week, somebody, you know, DMs me and it's like, hey, I want a custom tee. Can I have it uh, or can it be with that shirt color? The one that I literally was like, I'm not going to get because no one buys it. So that's why I'm like, you know what? Forget it. I need to just buy every... I need to make sure that I have every shirt color in every size. Because you just never know when somebody's going to want to buy it. And you know, it's not this, these shirts are not like food where they go bad or they expire. So it works out, you'll sell it eventually. So I need to remember that when I, um, when I'm buying inventory. I actually tried filming this video on Tuesday and midway through folding, I gave up, went on Amazon, bought a folding shirt tool. Um, my mom was not happy about that, by the way. You know, she's Mexican. She's a devoted housewife. She has been folding her whole life. And I'm whispering because she's out there. But anyways, she is a devoted housewife. She's been folding her whole life. And so to her, she was like, how can you go and buy a folding tool when you can fold yourself? But we live in America. Like I have to remind her sometimes, mom, you know, we live in America. We don't have to, you know, frustrate ourselves when everything's given to us like a folding tool she, she didn't like that idea and as a woman i feel a little bad but i do want this process to go fast so i am gonna be using my folding tool and yeah because i already bought it and i'm not about to waste my money so with that being said i keep talking way too much i am just gonna get started on this video and please keep watching <laughs> to show you guys a little behind the scenes of what we as business business owners um, have to do because it's not always just about fulfilling orders sometimes we have to fold a bunch of t-shirts at least i do and do inventory and a bunch of like office work because you know we're a one-man place it's just me i'm the boss the employer the employee the marketing person the finance person the social media person i'm literally the designer yeah it's a lot but it's fun so this is why i like doing it another thing that i wanted to mention 
is that I am counting my inventory and I need to find a way to better organize myself when it comes to inventory because like I mentioned, I sell custom tees or I make custom tees. So whenever I get a custom tee order, um, if I don't go and update my inventory manually on my website, I can run into the problem that I ran into last week. Oh, my mom just got another call. I don't know if you guys can hear her. I hope you guys can because the tea will be spilt in this video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I wonder what she's talking about. Oh, it's my dad. Okay, forget it. Nothing interesting. So, let me tell y'all. So, pretty much what ended up happening was I had a custom order and they wanted a medium mauve. Well, it the color is mauve. Well, it turns out that that was the last medium mauve that I had. So, that night, I didn't update my website right away and usually i do but sometimes i have a lot of million things going on at once that i don't remember so pretty much what ended up happening was i did not update my website and the next day no that same night i got an order through my website so and guess what they wanted a medium moave but i had sold out already so now i had to now pretty much the customer has to wait until i restock and what happened was that i had the shipment already on its way but because of like christmas and all of that it got delayed i think it got delayed like four days so it got delayed if not i would have been fine because it was supposed to arrive the next day that she had placed the order but it ended up arriving barely today the shirts barely arrived today so with that being said now i have to um hurry up and make her order even though it actually arrived and i had told her that i wasn't sure when it was going to arrive because the day kept changing so i i think i mentioned i think i told her that it was going to be like two weeks because of like christmas i don't know but it actually came in because i had ordered it already in advance it actually came in sooner than i had told her so i mean it came later than i thought when i had placed the order but it came sooner than i had told her so it kind of it worked out it not it, it didn't kind of work out it worked out so this is how my website looks right now i am going to be doing some changes as soon as the new year comes in but because it's still the end of the year, I am going to be leaving that there until the new year comes in. Then I'm going to be making the changes, most likely on December 31st. But I'm not too sure exactly at what time I'm going to be doing that. But anywho, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. And so I came up with a method so that i'm able to have everything in one place so whenever somebody places a custom order they can do it directly through my website the only problem was that so i set up a form and everything and it ended up it ended up failing on me because whenever they tried to pay it was only charging them for one t-shirt so let's just say that they wanted to buy two it was only charging them for one and it wasn't even including taxes and shipping so it's a whole mess so i was like you know what forget it i think what i'm gonna do is have them contact me through the website and then once they contact me i'm just gonna send them this form that they can fill out and then once they fill it out then i'll send them an invoice so that they can pay and then once they pay then i can get started and so it has right here my custom design policy is here and yeah so i think i like this idea way better way way better another thing that i've been working on is i changed my return policy i changed my shipping policy i even added a privacy policy and a contact us policy or a how to contact us so yeah i've been doing some stuff i want to add customer reviews um i'm not sure exactly how to do it but that's one thing i want to do in the new year so once once i figure it out i'll add it i'll probably post it on another video 
but yeah i also have hair accessories just in case you guys didn't know i have hair accessories these are my ten dollar tees actually these are going to be the last time that people are going to be able to get them and they're not going to be able to get them anymore because i've just had them for way too long this is a men collection my sweatshirt collection i don't have a lot of designs but what i have has been working so far and then these are just the regular women tees that i've been selling um i do have well i don't really have a lot but yeah and so new arrivals new arrivals pretty much just has everything that's new which is pretty much everything because i try to have new arrivals a lot often but yeah so just want to let you guys know what i've been working on